Over the years, the NAVC has grown. It's become, as I say, an international association. The responsibilities of the leadership have become larger. Over the years, we've actually had more than 110 countries represented here at the NAVC. The sun is getting low, the tide is getting high I got a bonfire burning and a huge my tie The number of girls to guys is equalized So don't be surprised if love rolls in As you're watching the waves rolling I'm just watching the waves rolling This amazing conference is not possible without the help of our friends and the supporters of this conference who make our educational programs, our exhibit hall, and the entertainment programs that you'll have fun with here quite possible. The North American Veterinary Conference, even though it's enormous, it's tailored for a very small group learning sessions. There are multiple opportunities to have uh, small group learning experiences. Not just small groups with one instructor, but with hands-on, uh, very tactile experiences, so that you can leave the conference confident that uh, you can perform a particular procedure that would add value to your practice and confidence in working in your practice. Jennifer Cheeseman and I am the assistant wet lab coordinator for NABC. I think it's a really good opportunity for them to get some hands on with the live dogs and with the cadavers as well. They get to go in and do a lot of things that they may not be able to do in their private practice. I'm a small animal practitioner. practiced uh, both mixed and uh, small animals for, for about nine years, but uh, last few years I've just been pretty much 90% small animal. My favorite part about the conference is actually getting to work with the animals that will go out for adoption after the conference is over with. When, uh, when you come to an, any NABC um, organization, it uh, seems like um, every year that you come back, it, you become more and more like family. I've adopted two cats that uh, have come from the conference, Chez and Pandora, and their brother and sister. It's really good uh, continuing education. Because you get to work with a lot of the different veterinarians. We learn a lot. We get a lot of hands-on uh, uh, education here. You learn a lot about the equipment that's out there now and the new technologies that you can help the veterinarians with later to get involved with. I'm so excited to be here for Hill's Pet Nutrition. And even though I wasn't Hill's first choice. <laughs> I think you guys are ready to have a party tonight, are we right? <laughs> cheers, a cheers, a toast to the vet tags. Toast to vet tags, thanks guys. We're standing by for an amazing show from the legendary band Warner, who rocks. This is my first time at the NABC, and I've really enjoyed it. It's been a fantastic trip. This is my first time in NABC, and I think it's been a grand experience, and I think it's far surpassed my expectations. My favorite part of being at NABC is the wide range of CE options available. Uh, there's a whole host of different activities as well on the side, so it makes for a very fun and exciting four days. My vet where I'm walking in India has been coming here for the past uh, three consecutive years and he said it's really worth it and I wanted to come. Considering it's my first year, I really wanted to attend uh, maximum lectures, you know, how much ever I could. So I've been only running around the rooms trying to get my favorite topics and doing the vet labs, that's it. 
My favorite part is the uh, large selection of possibilities for continuing ad. It's like a candy store for that. I would say the benefit to coming to, to NAVC to listen to these lectures is the opportunity to meet a lot of different speakers from around the world and get to learn a lot of new and exciting information. I am very happy to be a veterinarian. I think those that have been drawn to this profession feel passionate about this, whether you're a DVM or a support staff, you're in management. For us to really be happy in what we're doing and very prosperous, you've got to be able to work with your own definition of success. She reminded me of how important it is for us to remember why we became veterinarians. We are K-Laser USA and we debuted our high energy therapy laser at this meeting four years ago. In fact, it's now a multi-million dollar market with hundreds and hundreds of veterinarians using it to relieve, relieve chronic pain, stimulate bone growth and fracture conditions, and in general, give their clients and their patients a perfectly safe, non-invasive alternative to many of the products that are used today for managing chronic pain. NAVC is the place to show stuff like this. It's where we showed it off first and where we continue to prosper every year. We love the NAVC. We love to show our products. These are the only aquariums at the trade show. They're available through Webster Veterinary. Extremely low maintenance. They're practical. They're great for vets. Vets can find everything they want at the show. And if they stop by these booths, they can find really unique items. deadening the nerve endings when you make your incision. Oh, wow. It cuts very clean and it, that, that's why we've seen a trend from electrosurgery to laser. Now we're seeing a trend going back to sure. the electrosurgery type uh, procedures and so forth. Bienvenidos al show de veterinarios de Orlando. Eh, nuestra compañía es un 800 endoscope. Nosotros tra trabajamos con endoscopios. We are so excited. We love working with the vets and enjoy coming to the NAVC every year. Have a great day. You know, the NAV, you guys have done a great job this year. It's wonderful for the exhibitors. You've done a great job for the uh, for the veterinary medicine. It's one of the unique opportunities in this country where professionals can get together to learn, to thrive. And if you get a little bit better interviewer, the thing will be perfect. <laughs> one of the many great things about the North American Veterinary Conference is just how just being together reminds us of the common threads that really make our veterinary world quite small. To me, the practice of veterinary medicine is often struck me as being scientifically based and very strongly in simple common sense. As academic veterinarians and industry veterinarians produce good research, more and more ways are open for us to improve our practices. And yet the human element and human personal relationships and the things that we do on a daily basis become more and more important to our mutual successes. To me, veterinarians by nature are just generally good people. It really doesn't matter where we come from. And through my days in teaching, and especially now my time with the North American Veterinary Conference, I have been made better by the people who have come into my life literally from all over the world. And they have shared this great profession with me and as we share it together. Places from Newport News to Gridley, from Marathon to Milton to Melbourne. For me, from Littleton to Lima and Lincoln to Lochapoco, veterinary medicine has truly enriched us all. So this NABC is for you. We know that your hard-earned dollars are tougher and tougher to come by and harder and harder to let go. We are so glad that you're here with us, and we truly work throughout this year to make this the best possible educational experience available to you. So thank you very much. 
just for being here. And once again, from the bottom of my heart, thanks for being here.